Hello, thank you for watching this video. In this video, we introduce the questions we meet in this week. Some customers have some questions about our product and they do not know how to solve it. Uh, then we make this video to show you how to do it. Uh, we also make a shorter video in this week. Uh, you can, if you do not have time, you can visit the short video. Okay, the first one is a fast charge. Some Customer have questions that if I can use your power supply to charge the phone with fast charge, like uh, PD charging, uh, fast charging. Uh, actually, our power supply just output the voltage and current you set. The phone charging, it needs some protocol. This protocol is made by the uh, charger and uh, phone uh, company. They make the protocol so that they can use the fast charge to charge the phone, like 9 volt, 2 ampere, or 45 watt, or 90 watt. These are protocol, not just set the voltage and the current on the power supply. You can use the fast charge. They are different. Okay. Uh, for the second question, it is about the time display. You can see on the top left on the screen, it shows it is uh, 2019, uh, January the 1st. Uh, it is not the uh, current uh, time. The reason why it is this, it is because, because this you can see here on the back of the panel, there is a clock battery socket. Uh, you need to install a CR1220 battery inside the socket to power on the time system. If you do not install the battery, uh, it will show the default time, which will not uh, uh, change to the current uh, time. And uh, for the battery, it needs to prepare it by yourself. Because for the battery, normally the shipping weight does not support uh, battery inside the package. Uh, they will return the package if you send a pure battery inside. So the, if you need the time display, you need to prepare a CR1220 battery. If you do not install the battery inside the socket, uh, you will not see the uh, real time here. But it does not affect other function. So if you do not install it, there is no problem. The last question is about the assembled set. For RD6630 and RD6624, you see the max output uh, they are seeing. It is 1440 watt. Uh, the reason cost this uh, output power is that we use 1500 watt PSU inside the, uh, inside the device. Um, we do not have higher power PSU because uh, for now we do not make them. Uh, if you want RD6030 for output, you need to use 2000 watt 68 volt switching power supply. Uh, we do not have now. Uh, it is limited by the input PSU, uh, not uh, the front panel uh, limit. So uh, RD6030 still can output 30 MP, and uh, RD6024 still output 24 MP max. Okay. If you want to use your own uh, switching power supply, you need to uh, check if you can install your PSU inside the case. Or if you just order the panel, front panel, uh, it is okay that you uh, make the case by yourself and use your own PSU. Just to make sure that the import switching power supply can have a uh, stable output voltage and uh, below 70 volt DC, there is no problem. Okay, this is the uh, questions I meet in this week. And if you have other questions, just show us. And uh, if you need a video, we can also make the video to you. Okay, thank you for watching.